three things you probably should be doing now. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. There's a lot going on in the world today. There's a lot to prepare for. If you're here, you're of a preparedness mindset. So what are three things we need to do to prepare? Is it food? Is it water? We know these things, right? That's just what we do as preppers. We know that we should have some extra food, water, supplies, medical, stuff like that. What are three things that I feel are very important right now? The three big things I feel we're going to talk about. <laughs> what is, and they're not in any particular order. First off, before I forget, I always remember at the end of the videos, and not everybody watches to the end of the videos. Please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Please make comments. Even if it's just a, hey, have a wonderful day, thank you for the video, whatever. And share the videos. Get the word out. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to empower other people. So tell people about the channel and other prepper channels. Share the videos so that more people can get on board with preparedness. But anyway, I'm not going to say number one. i say one of the three needs to be building community. Meaning, your mags, your mutual assistance group, your tribe, team, crew, family, whatever you want to call it, whatever dynamic you have where you are. We need others. We can't do everything ourselves. So building a group, a strong group, encouraging each other, uplifting each other, cross-training and skills, setting up calm plans, setting up bug out plans, building all the things needed to survive a big event. That's a lot right there. So even if you just did that one thing, you'd probably be way better off. But what's another thing? Self-reliance. We need to be as self-reliant as possible. We need to learn how to get by with less. Upcycle, recycle, making do with what we have, learning how to make things from trees, from bushes, from these things. Getting out here and foraging, finding food where it might be, is kind of part of that. There's a lot of stuff that we can be doing. The thing is, we need to be doing it. So anything that helps you or takes you in the direction of self-reliance, self-sufficiency. You know, those self-words, those good, positive self-words. If we can be as independent of the on-demand supply system as possible, we will have a much better chance of survival, of not just surviving, but maybe thriving in an event. So one of the things you can be doing as far as, an, as items to be getting would be things that help you build things, make things. Nuts, bolts, screws, tools, um, you know, duct tape, um, wood. Although you can make do with things like this. If you have things like this and you have a chainsaw, get an Alaska sawmill that'll help you make boards out of things like this. <laughs> Tools are very important, but we're not really talking about items in this video. We need to be building our groups, 
We need to be interacting with each other. I missed an opportunity the other day. <clears throat> there was a Puget Sound Viking Network meetup. I was really excited to go. I was really jazzed to go meet some new people, some good people and everything like that. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, four-year-olds, man, sometimes they can be very challenging. Sometimes they could be little sweetheart princesses, and sometimes they could be a little, whew, yeah. So I wasn't able to make it. I was pretty upset. I got a deer walking up behind me. So that was cool. And I don't know if you can see it right in there is a deer sitting there looking at us right now because there's let me see yeah or no sorry there's this tree this tree so right in there there's three of them down there right now watch this area while I'm talking you may see some movement Yeah, I see ears flopping. Anyway, that's cool. I'll tell you what, that's food storage on the hoof right there. Anyway, yeah, that's really cool. Um, and that's like, it's about 40 feet away. Pretty cool. Anyway. Now I'm sidetracked. Now my mind is off somewhere else. So anyway, um, the third item would be skills, abilities, and mindset, I guess. Kind of along those lines. Getting yourself mentally prepared for troubling times having the skills to do all the things you'll need to do in troubling times in demanding times and the mindset to do them to be strong just say I collect my mind said before that the mind is the most powerful tool in preparedness and that's true it is time to be fostering that to be improving that along with mind for me comes spiritual preparedness being close to our Lord in heaven God to me, that's one of the most important preps. The most important prep. Because if we're close to him and we're right with him, there are a lot of things that happen. And those things are sometimes happening, but we're not aware of them. We're not in tune with the Spirit. So being in tune with the Spirit having a positive mental attitude, a can-do, a never-quit, never-say-die attitude, that, a survivor's attitude, that is what will get you through, okay? There are some very, very demanding military schools, high-speed stuff. Who are the kind of people that excel and make it into those kind of worlds and get through those kind of training successfully. Are they the bodybuilders? Are they the triathletes? Sometimes, yes. It's about what's up here. And well, in here meaning your heart doesn't, not the muscles. Muscles matter, well, of course, fitness matters. But it's mindset. It's people that will never, ever give up. 
They don't know the word quit. Perseverance. Success. Excellence. Also, there's another thing I'll talk about. Is just doing bare minimum. Getting by. To me, in my world, that's not acceptable. It's not. Bare minimum is not acceptable. Always do more than you're asked. Always do more than you want to, than you have to. In your life. Build a life of excellence. Not just status quo. So these are things that I think are very important right now. Having a group, having people to rely on, to help out, to work with, camaraderie, very important. Team building, being as self-reliant, self-sufficient as possible, and mindset. Those three things will get you where you want to be because those three things have a lot of things, spider webs that go off of them and that are included in those things. So if I was going to suggest somebody work on three areas of preparedness right now, even though there are a lot, I'd say those are three good areas to start. Definitely. Because you will learn from doing this, from doing that, from working on this. Working on this, you'll definitely get a lot of ideas about what your weaknesses are, what your strengths are, what you need to mitigate, what gaps you need to fill, where you need to go. And then it spins off. Just try not to go down too many rabbit holes here or there. Keep yourself on track. Make a plan. Stick to it. And just do. We always say do the things, right? Yep. That's very important. It's one of my favorite terms. I know I just, I, it just comes out of my mouth all the time. It's just, you know, from time in the military... We said that all the time, do the things. And you know, what does that mean? I'll, I'll talk about that really quick. It just means, it, it can mean a lot of things. It can mean so many different things. Do the things, meaning training, meaning fitness, meaning getting out and going on mission, accomplishing a, 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 you know, work at your job. It can be getting out into nature. It can be having fun. It can be working in your garden. It can be so many different things. It's just the context kind of and who you're around and what you're doing at the time when you say that, that people understand what you're talking about. <clears throat> Basically, it's meaning that you are a doer, not just a talker. You know, actions over words. Actions are very important. We need to run with these actionable items now to get ourselves more prepared. I want you guys more prepared. We need to be ready for what lies ahead. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. And blessings to you and yours.